In this video, we're going to create a REST API using the Django REST framework. Now you can see here, I have my Django project and I have my settings file. In my settings file, I've added the REST framework module as well as the app I've created. So the movies underscore API app. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my app and start writing the model. I'm going to have a table called movies and uh, it's going to be my model. I'm going to create the first field, which is the movie ID. And this is a auto field automatically generated. It is also a primary key. The next thing is the title of the movie. And for this, I'm just going to have a regular char field. And this char field has a maximum length of 100 added on, which is the date on which this uh, movie is added. So it's going to be date field. And this date field is also auto created. The fourth thing is the category. And for this, I'm going to have also a chart field, but I'm going to have a list of predefined values that the user can uh, choose from. So choices is category. This category is a list I will create over here. This is what the user is going to see in the drop down menu. So the first thing they're going to see is category. So the category of the movie can be cartoon. And this is the value of this choice. And here you can have other choices. And finally, I'm going to have the description of the movie. So models, I'm going to use a text field. And the max length is a bit bigger. Those are the fields. I'm going to go ahead and save this. The next thing I want to do is create the serializers file, which is going to allow me to interact with the model via the REST API. So it's called the serializers.py. It's going to be very simple. So from REST framework, import serializers from the application models. I'm going to import the movie model that I created. I'm going to have the movie serializer and this is going to inherit from serializers.model serializer so it's going to be my model serializer it's basically referring back to the movies model just going to double check it's the movies model not the movie model so here it can be movies serializer and uh, the fields it's going to serialize is all of them now here you can have a list of specific fields, but for now I'm just going to be using all the fields. And now for the views. In my views, I'm going to have one class. I'm going to call this class movies uh, API view. This is going to inherit from API view. The first thing is to specify the serializer of this uh, class. So I'm going to create a variable called serializer class and the serializer class is going to be the movies serializer which i created in the uh, in the previous step now i'm going to have to import this serializers import movies serializer so i've imported it from the serializer i'm going to define my main methods and those are the get method this is part of the class and it has a request i'm just going to define all of them for now and then edit them uh, in a bit so we have the git we have sorry we have the get we have the post same thing we have the put and we have the delete So we have those four methods that 
our class will be doing. Now the get, you're probably familiar with it. You don't change anything on the back end, you just get a value. The post is when you create something on the back end. The put is when you modify something that is already created. And delete is when you delete an item first. I just need to do some importing. The first thing is the get method. Now it's going to take a parameter, which is a movie ID, and then grab the information related to this movie ID. If there is no movie ID, then it's going to grab all the movies. So first I'm going to look for the movie ID. So in the request, I'm going to use query params and I'm going to get the movie parameter and it will default to none if there is nothing there. So if movie ID exists, then movies is my movies model objects filter by movie ID and I'm, I'm looking for this movie ID. However, if there is no movie ID, then the movies are going to be all the objects of the movies table. If there are movies, if the variable actually has um, things in it, then I want to serialize this response. So movie serializer, serializer class of this class. I'm going to put the movies in it, many true in case I have many results. And then I'm going to return response movie serializer, the data a status with it. And the status is from the status that I important, imported from REST framework is the HTTP. Okay. Now, if there are no movies, return response and a message that says no movies found. The status is going to be the same. So status dot HTTP 200. And now for the post method. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the parameters. So the first thing is the title of the movie, the data that the user sends with the request and reaches the back end. So in that there's going to be the title of the movie, the description of the movie. So request data get description and it defaults to none, the category. And you can have a default over here. For example, you can default to cartoon. I'm going to create a variable called post data just to make things cleaner. So we have the title description, which is the description category. This is our post data. Now I'm going to create the serializer variable. And again, I'm going to use the serializer class. I'm going to specify the data as being the post data. If serializer is valid, I'm just going to raise exception if it isn't. It is checking the data that I've inputted here against the model, against the database. And if everything's correct, so if all the fields are there and if they are as expected, then save this movie, so serializer, save. And then if movie, then I'm going to return a message that says successful new movie HTTP. Instead of 200, it's going to be 201 for created. Return a response that says, you know, something went wrong, HTTP 400, but request. Next is our put method. So put will change a movie that already exists in the database. So we, we need a movie ID for that. So movie ID, and it's going to be in the form of a parameter movie and this defaults to none. We might want to get the movie for this movie ID. So movies object get movie ID equals movie ID. If not movie return 
response no movie no movie is found if not then we might want to see for example the title so request and again this is sent with the data of the request so get title and this will default to none and here we want to change the title so if some if the user provided the title we might want to update the title of the movie so the movie that we got from the database we might want to change the title to title and then movie.save same thing i'm going to do for the other fields of the table so here if the user specified the description i'm going to edit the description or modify the description of the movie and save it same thing for the category i'm going to return a response update complete now for our delete method over here so in this case i'm going to want to delete a movie so again the movie id and then I'm going to locate this movie, if not movie, then return no movie found uh, 404, not found. But in case there is a movie, then I want to movie.delete and then return a response movie removed. I'm sure there is a better status than this, but I'm just going to put 200, okay. So those are my four methods for the REST API. And you can see it's only in one class. Now the final thing I want to do is create a URLs file uh, for my uh, application. It's going to be specific for my application, so django.urls import path. Um, and I'm going to import my views and uh, I'm just going to specify the URL patterns and this is going to be uh, movies slash and then movies API as view. I'm going to save this but I have to go back to the main URL. Over here I'm going to import include and I'm going to include the app URLs, but I'm going to append to it API include and it's the dot URLs file. And now I will be running the migrations of the database, but of course there's a lot of typos. So the first thing here is to make sure that this is a string. Uh, the next thing is in views. So over here it's rest uh, framework and then views over here. And over here, it's REST framework response. So it does work. Uh, the thing is here, we don't have a template for home. So it only knows API and admin. So let's go check our API. So this is our API. So you can see here, it's slash API slash movies. We have our methods over here. So we have our get, we have post, put, and we have delete. Now, since we have no movies yet, um, the get method returns that there were no movies found. Now let's create a movie over here. Let's say title one category documentary and um, description just random. So here we get an error and it's good to check the errors to understand what we're doing here. It's saying that this is not defined now we might be able to fix this so if we go somewhere we've used this without the status and it's over here so if we save this over here so if i go back try again and now it has uh, registered the movie so the get method over here uh, returns this movie and we can let, let's create another movie uh, just so we can test it, title two, and let's uh, use another category and do post. If I go back to the get, now I have two movies over here. Now let's try to put uh, for movie two and the parameter is two. 
here I get the move only movie 2 and the get request and here I can try to edit it so we have cartoon over here let's try to edit it to action for example and we have an error and it's good to look at those errors so it says that movies which are is our model does not have an attribute called um, object and this is because it needs to be objects not object so if i go back here in the view and here it is so if i put objects here and save it and check for any other typos all of them seem to be correct and we do the post over here so the parameter is still movie equal to if i put action over here and now the update is complete I refresh this you can see here the category is action now let's try to delete this movie i'm going to press delete and movie remove i can see here that i only have uh, one movie now because the first one was deleted now i hope this was a useful tutorial for you let me know in the comments if you have any questions